Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I want to show you the static testing of your DAC, assuming you have a voltmeter. All right, so here is my DAC. Uh, it's a 4-bit DAC using the resistors from the kit. And what I have connected up here is I have the four uh, bits, the one, two, three, four bits from port B, uh, which will be the digital part of my uh, DAC. The analog part is connected here to the voltmeter. All right. Um, over here in Kyle, I'm going to run a very simple program, uh, which will output the numbers sequentially. So build... Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so uh, in order to run this program, I'm going to go into the debugger so that I can single step. Okay, so I'm going to step over, uh, step over, step over, step over, step over, step over, uh, step over, step over, output. All right. So now you can see that my output is a zero and my analog voltage is almost zero. So I'm going to go over to my Excel sheet and type in what I have. So this is a static test. All right. Uh, step over. So I'm going to do this uh, 15 more times. A uh, step over, step over. So now there's a one. And right here I'm going to type in the value that I measured, two, two, three. All right. Keep going. Step over, step over, step over. And now this is obviously the solution to my lab uh, six. And I'm testing the DAC init, which initialized port B, and the DAC out, which outputs a four bit number, zero through 15, uh, to the DAC. Okay, here we go. Step over. I'm going to do this a bunch more times. All right, all right. And you can see it's pretty linear. You can see so far it's doing pretty well on my linearity. All right, that means I built it up right. And so before we go into dynamic test, we're going to finish the static test. All right. Uh, don't worry if your numbers are different than mine. Uh, as long as they're approximately linear, uh, that means you've built the circuit correctly. So there's. Now, if you built a 6-bit DAC, obviously you've got to do it more times, and your numbers will be completely different. But you know. All right. We're halfway through. Again, in um, the four bit DAC. Um, uh, generated the ability to convert this uh, digital number here, uh, which is a 10 right now, into the analog corresponding analog voltage, which is 2.192. Okay. Right. Uh, you'll be able to tell if you mess up because your curve won't fit a straight line, but so far I haven't missed, I haven't typed anything in wrong yet. Step forward, step forward. Good thing I didn't have a 12-bit DAC, okay. Or it's a good thing you have a lab partner. All right, two more. Okay, this is a static test because you can see I'm, I'm executing one uh, step at a time in a static way, looking at the static response between the digital number, which is 14 in this case, and the corresponding analog value, which is about 3 volts. Okay, one more. And this is that table here that you're going to uh, upload as part of your, um, as part of your lab. Uh, 
uh, deliverables. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm done. Uh, and so now if I uh, look at this stuff here, you'll see that um, the, um, the average accuracy here was about 5 milli, um, millivolts. And the resolution, which is range divided by precision, uh, which is about 22, 0.22 volts. Okay, so uh, this column here was the theory that what I expected, this was the difference, and that was my error in percent. And if I look down here, I can see it's pretty linear. All right, so in summary, uh, the first stage is after you've built the, uh, the DAC, is to do a very simple case um, uh, demonstrating that the DAC works. Now, again, this video was assuming you had a voltmeter. In the next video, I'm going to do the same thing, uh, but not have a voltmeter. Okay, uh, enjoy this lab.